Welcome back to another FNA and today I want to talk about the best audio site for animators. Now that's a very clickbaity statement, but let me give you a preview of what I mean. So I want to talk about the site called Yarn. It's getyarn.io and you can just search by word or phrase for TV, movies and music clips. So basically if I look for I like chocolate. It's going to look through everything that has that. You can see the genres here, decades, rated, titles, people, and you see this here. Yes, I like the chocolate. I don't like chocolate. It's all about chocolate. So if you want to start an animation shot, but you don't quite know the line yet and need to find it somewhere, this is the site for you. Now, before I continue showing you all the details and some of those upcoming potential features, spoilers, where my mine is JD and I do animation kind of tips and tricks like these. I do animation lectures, I do animation analysis clips, I do acting analysis clips, I do rig reviews and proc reviews, all kinds of stuff. If you're watching my clip, you know this is the beginning pitch for YouTube. Basically, check out my channel. There's a bunch of stuff on there. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. But if you do subscribe, it helps my channel grow. And that is that for the pitch. So feel free to browse around. Let's go and browse through the website. So let's get back to the site. So basically, Basically, the main idea is that you can find different phrases and it finds you very, very short clips. You can see this here, 2.6 seconds, 1.4 and so on. I can show you a little bit of trick to expand this later on. Basically, the search result across all of this on the right here, which you can modify. And the idea is that you create a story, stitch together short phrases that are part of different movies and TV shows, like I said. So what I'm using this site for is not its original intention. I'm not there to create a story based on all the short little snippets. I found this site because I want to animate something where someone is saying stop this or let go or why would you do that something like that and I just I couldn't find a movie that had that specific line then I just googled it and this site came up and I thought this is really really handy it's a very targeted thing of I want to animate something where someone says I like chocolate so if I click on this first clip really I like the chocolate you like them chocolate I like them really I like the chocolate you like them chocolate I like them really I like them. you can see how short that is and you can see up here all the information this is from Kirby Enthusiasm, the rat dog, this is season, the episode's very specific, so you can really find exactly what you need. And you can go to the sorts video. So if you click here, it gives you more information and you have more clips of that show as well. So it's really not a guessing game in terms of what you're trying to find. Now, if that's too short, there's a feature, I'm not sure when it's coming out yet, but I was talking to the, the site owner and they have this here. Do you see that little hand? You can click on that here and you can see nudge clip. So you can see the end time, you can see the start time and you start nudging it. So you can say a bit more, a bit less. So you can do this here, it will start nudging. And this is just by a very short amount. And you have to refresh the site at this point. This is going to be tweaked in the future. But then when you play it, really? I like the chocolate. You like them chocolate? I like them chocolate. Really? I like the chocolate. You can see that it's just a tiny bit longer. Now, again, you can click here and you can keep on nudging to make it longer. Now, this is not a substitute in terms of, oh, I found the line that I wanted, but I want to animate like a five second clip. You won't have five seconds on it. So it's not the full substitute of finding an audio clip and then ripping the audio to work you know, for your animation clip. But it's great in terms of finding a specific line or potential sentence, and then you can see exactly where that is from, find that, and then rip a longer piece for your animation shot. And if you don't know exactly what to look for, so I want to do animation, but I don't quite know yet, let me browse around. Well, you have certain areas here, let me show you. So when you go down here, you can see Kisses, growl, please, crying. There's all kinds of stuff there. So I want to say, all right, growl, what is that? You click on that, and here are all of your growls. So I'm gonna click on this, and that's your growl. Now, it's gonna be very short, it's gonna be always looped, so be mindful of headphones or speakers. But then you can also go to the next clip here. Actually, I'm gonna skip that one because this is also across all kinds of movies, including foul language and not appropriate visuals. So I'm gonna cut that one out, I'm gonna keep clicking. Maybe growl was not the right choice, but let me, let me do something else. So let's say I'm gonna look for a sentence, what, what is going on? So here it's gonna give you everything that's there. So if I say, I'm gonna do this one. What is going on? What? I'm gonna pause this. If you click next clip, it's not the next one in terms of what is going on, which would be really cool. To me, it feels like a, that would be a better way to browse. But if you click next clip, it's the next one in terms of the, the show and not what you were looking for. So if you have this, what is going on, you will have to scroll down and then you get the rest. So first you have some general topics and then you're gonna continue here with what is going on. So if you really wanna look for things, you can just kinda of do a tab opening. You don't see this here because I am opening up tabs, but. That's your tab right there. That's that. What is going on here? 
that was a longer one. What is going on? and so on. So as you can see, when you look around for this, it's going to show you a really wide selection of everything that's out there in terms of movies, TV shows, like it said here, with what is going on. So if you're deciding, well, I don't want to animate something where someone says what is going on in a very panicky way, with all of this there in, ter in terms of your search results, you're going to find something that's exactly that, because there's such a huge selection, it's almost impossible not to find what you're looking for. And there are different options of finding things. Some things they were talking about way back, and I just tested it, it's actually, they implemented it already, is that if you go into to the search and you say the, the example that I was given here was hello, but then you say across all Star Wars and you search for that, you will see hello in everything that is Star Wars related. Next page and so on. There's a ton apparently where someone says hello in Star Wars. So let's say I'm gonna click on the first one that's Clone Wars here. Again, that's your clip that says hello. And of course, you don't have to use it the way I'm using this, but you have your like, your embed, your give, the story. This is That is the actual thing that the site is intended for, is to create a story. You can share this on all these platforms. I want to say I like this. And if I go to my account, you can see favorites. There you go. So if you're using this in terms of animation, the way I'm explaining it here, you can have your whole selection like this. Then you have your basically your bookmark section of all the clips that you want to either use now or you're going to use in the future. Or you know, maybe you're going to even use something where you can create a sentence or almost a sequence with different lines from different people from different movies how the background sound is going to sync that's kind of a tricky thing or maybe you find something where it's fairly quiet and it just has a sentence or a word and then you could put all that stuff together to create your own custom track in a way i think that's pretty cool so as a whole i think this has really huge potential in terms of animation search capabilities if you're going to animate a lip sync piece so yes this site is not built for that but i think you can hijack this and make it work for you speaking of making work if you want me to send or if you want if you want to send me your work and I'm grasping at, at uh, segues again but if you want to send the work to me and you want me to help you with audio pieces finding something or, or helping you with lip sync in general I have workshops you know the pitch you can sign up at any time link in the description with all information and that is that for this clip if you like this feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and as always if you watch this at the very end thank you so much for your time I appreciate it and I will see you in my next clip